Hey, what's up guys? I am now in Calgary. Uh, yesterday was actually completely insane. Um, I did fly about 5,000 miles across the country from the East Coast. Now I'm in more leaning towards the West here in Calgary, Alberta. Um, but the crazy thing is I actually like stepped foot in five different provinces. Uh, earlier on in the day, I was in Prince Edward Island. Um, I drove through New Brunswick, stopped. Um, went to Nova Scotia, flew out of Halifax, went to uh, Playground Poker, uh, which is in Montreal, Quebec, and then ended up here in Calgary, Alberta. Um, I am being so frugal that I did not even book a hotel when I was in Montreal. Um, I got in around 10.30 and um, I had a layover with my next flight being at 8 a.m. So I just went straight to the playground to play a few hours of poker and went uh, to the airport at like 4.30 because I thought the lounge was going to be open, but it was not. Anyway, um, I'm here in Calgary. I am so relieved, so, so relieved that I finally have a chance to breathe a little bit. We just got to the Deerfoot in the casino. Um, when I told Kmart that I was coming to Calgary to play some poker, I asked him what was the best place to stay and go. And this is where he told me. And yeah, aside from that, I'm gonna just chill out, breathe a little before I have to do the super crazy stuff, like go to Yellowknife, which is my next stop, and Whitehorse, and none of it. I'm not sure if I'm ready, because I don't even have gloves right now. I brought two hats, but no gloves. All right, keep on trucking. Live to see another day. Good night. I'm so lucky I was doing some trip planning. Um, but my friend sent me another care package with some water, uh, green juice, and some fresh stuff with soup. So I don't have to play out of my bag girl today. This is the first session I'm playing online. I started with a thousand American dollars and I'm playing four tables. So I have like a third of my roll on the tables all at once right now. I was not paying attention and I just flatted with my eights full of aces instead of rings. Oh dear. Too many tables. That was really bad. <gasps> we turned quads! Okay. Can we get paid is, is the question. I mean, he only has 40 big blinds behind. Uh, okay. There's two kings on the spot, but we have aces. A little dicey, but... Uh, Alright, we're all in. Quad deuces. Oh no! We didn't even... Oh, we timed out on the aces. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're playing too many tables for also making content. Because we're like, we're trying to talk and we just timed out with aces. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay, my first session, I accidentally signed up for a satellite tournament, but at least I won a seat. It's a $55 seat. Maybe we can just turn it into a 10K. If you deposit with at least $100 with bonus code XUAN, not only will you get an extra $50 free, in addition, you'll also be eligible for all the other bonuses in effect, like 100% deposit, um, all the other MTT tickets, WPT Global is the new kid on the block, so they are just throwing money at first-time depositors. So do not hesitate to take advantage of all these promotions. And of course, please gamble responsibly and good luck. I feel like it's been forever since I put on something nice. This is the only dress I brought on this trip. I didn't really expect to go out. Um, Tonight, Kmart's taking me out to dinner. He heard about my trip and he recommended the Deerfoot Inn for me to stay. Um, in addition, he knows about my budget trip and so he's gonna treat me to a really nice dinner. I feel super spoiled, we're just friends, but um, I'm super looking forward to doing something nice and luxurious for an evening. And this is the uh, terrine, 
So uh, on top is rabbit jelly, just made from the bones. Uh, and herbs, herbs and veg from the garden. So like late season veg. All right, uh, I am at a nice restaurant. Um, I don't know if this is cheating, but I'll I'll let this guy do the talking. What's up? <laughs> Guys, I was like, this is my hometown, Calgary, Alberta. I'm walking around and like, Juan is homeless begging for money like searching trash cans for bottles I'm like I, so I've taken her in we've given her some food we're taking care of her she's gonna be okay you guys she's in good hands now yeah she's fine <laughs> Alberta you are so beautiful check out this lake that's frozen over it's called forget me not lake mm. at this point I'm about halfway done my challenge um, taking a breather in Calgary. There's so many card rooms to play, but I'm gonna have a meetup game over at Deerfoot Casino and Inn. Um, unfortunately, I've depleted my entire live roll, which definitely sucks, but I still have money online. Um, I'm really excited about the upcoming provinces. I've never seen the Northern Lights and it's been on the bucket list for me for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, 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 doing this Banco challenge. Yeah. Things are that's uh yeah, $25. Oh, how how does that happen? Well, these sports. So is the Banco challenge just for most on my mug, you know, it was super last minute, but thank you for everyone who showed up. It's the first orbit. Um, they're playing button strata, which is not a format I'm very familiar with. I've never actually grinded, you know, any significant stakes uh, with that rule in effect. But my intuition tells me it's pretty neutral EV if you know what you're doing. Um, I see other aggressive and solid players um, mostly utilizing it, so it makes me feel like it really can't be that bad. So in this hand, the button strata is in effect. For six dollars, small blind completes. We're in the big blind. We have a pair of queens. We're elated, and there's all these players left to act to our left. So we had good reason to believe that in a spicy game like Calgary, that someone should be raising the situation at some point. So we also just completed my neighbor to the left calls, and to our chagrin, the button did not raise. Ugh. Okay, so now we're playing a multi-way limbs pot, basically. Uh, $24 in there, flop comes 844 rainbow. Okay, a little annoying because, you know, trips do beat us and then limp pots, players are more likely to have, you know, random small cards. Uh, but we end up betting $10, about 40% into this pot, and we get called in two places. Okay, um, higher to our left and the button turn comes a king of clubs okay now we no longer have an overpair to the board uh, we decide to see what the other players do we check and our neighbor to the left ends up going all in for 34 dollars to be fair i didn't realize he was so short stacked i don't know if that would have changed my decision i probably just would have let out and um you know been okay if he had a better hand at that point but he shoves Button calls pretty quickly, and we're really annoyed. We're like, ugh, because we're running so bad, we're like, okay, I guess my queens are no good here again, when obviously we should have just called the $34 and reevaluated what happened on the river. You know, we, we were, we, we still had a bunch of money behind me and the button, but remember, he was the straddle, and so he has every four in his range. He did not choose to exercise his option. And we thought we were being, you know, big five head here by checking and saving our money. But he ends up winning the pot with like 9-8 offsuit or something. And I don't even know what the guy to my left had. So we feel like a moron. <laughs> and we're like, okay there. Um, I guess that's why I'm losing. Um, a few orbits later, we get moved to the other table and we see queens again from middle position. Uh, our neighbor, Lojack, calls our $10 raise, and, as does the big blind. Okay, $31, there's three of us to the flop. It comes Jack, eight, seven, rainbow. 
Okay, kind of wet, but there's no flush draw, which is nice. Um, we decided to just check this and see what the person in the position does. Our banker was hanging on a string right now, so like we are proceeding so cautiously, don't want to blow pots unnecessarily, and we just want to see what the other players are doing. Uh, Lojack does end up seabedding 50% pot, $15, big blind calls. At this point, we're like, okay, big blind didn't raise, and uh, maybe the guy in position is just taking a stab at it. We are going to raise and hopefully isolate and get heads up, which, uh, you know, makes us more likely to win the spot. And we still have an overpair. Uh, turn comes a offsuit three. Okay, pretty safe. We end up betting about two thirds pot um, and he calls. Okay, uh, now we think he probably has like pair and a straight draw. You know, I didn't think he would have too many two pair combos in this situation um, other than seven, eight. Uh, he definitely has sets, but so few combos with sets that uh, we're not super concerned about it, especially since he hasn't raised up to this point. On the river, another innocent deuce. Okay, but now we're like, you know, I have about a pot size bet behind. Um, I could go for value, hopefully get called by, you know, maybe King Jack, Jack 10, something like that. Um, but he may also hero fold those hands. Uh, so we're trying to keep his like absolute worst hands that maybe miss draws in there and we decide to just check and he ends up betting $110. We caught pretty quickly, um, but unfortunately he just ends up having jack eight here for a flop two pair. Our queens are no good this time. The first time we completely botched it. This time we're actually no good, but inflated the pot voluntarily. Um, I guess the bright side is we probably could have gotten sacked on the flop. Nonetheless, I ended up being down $580. Um, that's the for pissing on in. And wondering when my next winning session is going to be. Um, I was pretty sad. I actually went straight back to my room, but then realized I had my entire online bankroll. So that was the end of my Calgary trip. Um, overall, I still had a really good time, uh, but it was definitely time to hit the online streets and also brace myself for the Canadian Arctic. This has been a super interesting year for me. Um, it's the first year where I kind of carved out a lot of time to play high stakes poker. And it also happens to be the first year I might have a losing year since I've started playing poker. Um, I wasn't playing every single year professionally, but this year, you know, I tried to get myself into some good games. Sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't. But I think part of the reason I didn't do well was because I was exposed to so many different games um, that always took me a while to get comfortable in. I was never in like one game long enough to like get a feel for the players. Um, I played, I lost a lot of money in super high equity spots where, you know, something like Squid Game was at play. <clears throat> I would say that like the majority of big pots that I've lost had some sort of like external pressure like that. And you know, it's, I can't really complain. I've been playing the game for a long time and that's really how um, amateurs and recreational players stay competitive, right? When you do introduce these like high variance games that aren't super solved. Um, and I chose to be a part of them and it could have easily gone the other way. Um, but I'm still optimistic. I still love the game. I still get to do stuff like this, which is by far the best part about playing poker. Um, when I first started playing poker, um, I just saw it as like, a means for me to be able to travel the world, have autonomy, um, you know, not have to work like a nine to five job, you know, just the freedom. There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing like it. Um, you know, I've been to so many different countries, had so many cool experiences because of this game. And um, yeah, no one can ever take that away from me. And I'm going to keep doing what I love and and keep going to interesting places and, and improve my game and hopefully stay competitive enough um, 
until I don't want to be doing it anymore. Actually, surprisingly multicultural. I was, I was, um, yeah. I mean, I guess there would be a lot of tourists who come here to catch the Northern Lights. This is early season for that. Um, from all over the world, I heard Koreans, Chinese speakers. Um, yeah, it was just like super multicultural on my plate too. It's packed, so maybe it's not as remote here as I expected it to be. hotel now I think they should let me check in it's uh, three and check in is four um so bad news um, the lady at the restaurant told me that this is not the right season to do any of the activities I wanted to do I wanted to go like dog sledding and ice fishing but it kind of makes sense that it's not quite cold enough for for the lakes and the water to freeze over and, uh, and today it's like super cloudy. I'm only here for two nights. Um, so tonight, not gonna, no, like basically no chance of seeing the Northern Lights. But tomorrow there might be. So I'm gonna keep my eye on that, but I'm not gonna waste any money booking anything until I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a chance to see the lights. It was super last minute, so I actually had to book kind of a nice hotel. Um, there just wasn't really anywhere else much cheaper that was um, comparable and that I would feel safe in. So I think since I'm somewhere so remote, I splurged a little. to go get some lunch. It is really cold today. I, I'm wearing, I was wearing one pair of sweatpants. I stepped outside for a second and nope, the fuck back in. Because even though they are super heavy sweatpants, I could feel the wind blowing through the seams. <laughs> and I uh, had to put on another pair of pants. I'm so glad they have a float place here. I heard this place is kind of an institution. Of course, this weather is perfect for some hot, steamy Vietnamese noodle soup. The wind today is so strong, like when you're walking against it, it's like a thousand tiny little blades like slicing your face. And I was wearing like a really tall scarf and and I was covered in a hat and everything, but just like this little area that, that had skin showing through was not taking it. Oh, also, look at this little candy contraption that they have. It's a boot warmer. Um, I haven't figured out how to turn it on yet, but it's supposed to work. Found some cards. We're gonna play some heads up later. Here with Maddie. She doesn't want to show her face. Wait, should I not even mention your name? <laughs> if you change your mind in the future. This place is super cool. Thank you. 
playing with two cards. Actually, let's play with one hand face up. So these are the hands. Ooh, I have you dominated. So basically, uh, we take turns being the dealer. Okay. So I'm gonna yesterday I met an, an acquaintance, um, a Crown prosecutor based in the Northwest Territories. She was very sweet, such a good sport. She allowed me to teach her the rules of Texas Hold'em, and uh, we played a heads up sit and go for $5 after she knew the rules, of course. And I beat her, so uh, that's gonna be a check mark for the Northwest Territories for me. Does it matter that you have like three diamonds? No, three diamonds, nothing. Four diamonds, nothing. You need five to make a proper hand. Now it's showdown. Okay, you win. I definitely should have bet. <laughs> yes. So there's four clubs on the board, and I have the six clubs. Uh, I am at Yellowknife Airport right now, heading to Calgary, Vancouver and then Whitehorse tomorrow. Um, I did pretty well online here. Um, online, I made over $600 American, which is definitely enough to sustain me for the rest of the trip. Well, actually, I played Rampage Heads Up this morning. He was supposed to donate to me this morning um, as a goodwill gesture for the rest of my trip, but instead, he won money off me. Apparently he had kings like three times. We played like, you know, like half an hour and he had kings three times and the biggest pot I lost to him. He had queens and I had nine. So that set me back about $200, but that's okay. Uh, we are going to try to make some more. Um, actually, we're going to probably hang out at the Calgary airport since we have a layover and play some online there. And hopefully that goes well too. on my way to Vancouver. It was also a direct flight, but I wanted to save some money. I, I think I'm saving like 300 bucks by taking an extra layover, which I don't really mind because I'm also saving on food because the uh, airport lounge here is actually pretty decent. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite airport lounges here in Calgary. You get these super comfortable loungers where you can watch TV. And there's like a curtain.